Hey again, folks. It's time for a follow-up video on the Halo. It was asked, and I had actually thought about doing this, uh, wondering how many charges can we get on an iPhone out of this thing before it needs to be recharged, like you're out in the uh, you're, uh, camping off-grid or something, and uh, you just wonder how much you got. I just pressed the button, and we have four full bars. And my wife's cell phone is down to 20%. So I'm going to run this with 20% on her phone every time. Uh, and it should charge in its regular amount of time. But how many of them can we get? All right. For this experiment of how many charges can the cell phone take? How many charges can the Halo give? I want to make sure that I'm at full power. Four bars does not necessarily mean that I have 100% left. So I'm going to charge it and see if we have any blinking. If we do, then I'm going to let it charge to full before I head out. And then I'm not going to take this thing all the way down. It probably will uh, no longer have enough power to run a cell phone. And cell phone will let me know that. All right, so it is plugged in and it was showing full four full bars. So if it was blinking, it would be receiving a charge. Because it's not blinking, I know I'm at 100%. Let's go test the phone. All right, as they say, a watch pot never boils. <laughs> anyway, does a watch cell well, does a watched cell phone never charge? I'm going to plug it in and then uh, we'll see how long it takes. Probably a half an hour to an hour to charge the phone up. I'm not sure. All right, so I have my wife's phone. I told her to let me know when it gets down to 20% and it accidentally went down to 18% accidentally. So I'm going to plug in now and uh, try to recharge this thing from 20%, not from zero every single time. Okay, we've been about a half an hour now, and we are at 52% and still have four bars. I think on the next charge, next run that I do of this, I'm going to set up my tripod and do a time lapse so that we can uh, watch this go down and maybe see the thing change. Okay, the end of the first day. I have to say that I'm actually disappointed. I really did not expect this to drop down to three quarters until the second or third charge. It could be just this phone, there could be some science behind the battery, the age of the phone, but it's been holding at 97% now for about 15 minutes. It seemed as though this thing raced from 20 to 55 within the first 20 to 30 minutes, then slowed down. It took an hour and a half to get up to 88%. And then it has spent the last hour trying to get from 88 to 98 and just getting nowhere and now I've dropped down one bar so I have a feeling that maybe it's balanced out or something I'm not sure maybe it would eventually get the rest of the way up could like I said it could be the age of this phone or whatnot anyway I'm going to continue this uh, charging test and I'm going to come back when this uh, phone has gone back down to 20% and maybe I'll just uh, hold off from going to 98% so the end of this experiment day one I'm going to unplug this. Yep, the phone comes on. And uh, it's it made it to 98% in the last second. So first day of charging, down three, down to down one uh, bullet here, and I'm gonna turn it off. There we go. I'll be back in a moment. Halo time charge number two. We did a oopsie. We allowed it to get down to 1%. We were going to do this from 20. But I think this is a more realistic approach. Because if you're out and about. And, you're, well, and you need a charge desperately. This is the situation. So I'm going to time lapse this one here. And let's watch it grow. Okay, I'm going to make an executive decision here that uh, I'm not going to lend it, let this run more than an hour. The first time I let it run three hours. <clears throat> and the reason being is because in a real life situation, you probably would not go past 
50 to 60 percent and right now we are at 54 percent and so we started an hour ago we went from one percent up to 54 percent in one hour i think that's great performance by this when we show two bars which means it's about 50 percent full and uh we still got maybe two three who knows uh more charges in it and i'm going to continue with a real life situation uh with anything below 20 percent taking it to 50 and at 20 percent, i'll take it up to about 70 or 80. okay she did it again this time it's zero the phone just died we're going to take it from zero to 50 percent i'm going to run my timer and we'll see how long that takes we have 50% left inside the halo. Okay, we started at 124. It is now 244. And so we've got more than an hour and 15 minutes here. And we have approximately 54% charge. We still have two bars left. So somewhere around the 50% range still. And at this rate, I imagine we could probably get two, three more charges out of this. This ends charge number three. Now on to charge number four. Okay, this experiment has come to a screeching halt, which is okay. Uh, we needed to recharge this to uh, travel with it. And uh, it took me two weeks to make this experiment happen as far as I did. She's now at 57% and uh, she's looking good. And that tends to be uh, the, the area in which she operates below 60% all the time. So if you are looking for a device, I can recommend this one because we got four charges out of it. And I think that in a fair situation, if you had lost power... Uh, like a, a hurricane or, or any kind of a reason for losing power in an extended period of time, you're not going to sit around surfing the net, wasting your electricity. You're more than likely going to want to keep the phone charged so that you can communicate with it and um, use it for critical business. So this is a good thing for that kind of situation. Now, some of you may be curious about the weight of this thing. I'm going to take a quick look at that. And we are going to zero out. This thing is almost right at two pounds. For what this thing offers with a uh, emergency light, which is quite bright, the ability to start a car, two USB ports, a 110 outlet, and something that tells you how much charge you have left, this is a great device. I highly recommend it. And it can fit in your carry bag. And it's a, just a tad less than two pounds. So my thoughts on this are that if you were to just charge your phone up to about 50 to 60 percent, you probably get eight to ten charges out of it that way. But if you're going to take it up from a dead phone all the way up to 98 percent, it's going to really drain this thing down. And I think that's probably not what this thing is made for uh, in that kind of situation. And that's, that's what's something that you do quite regularly. You go out to the beach, you go to the park or whatever, and your phone dies down. You pull this thing out and you operate from it. So you can actually, with 2.4 amps, do that. This is a great unit. I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.